So I'm Daniel Flesher. I'm one of the editors on History of the World, and this is my first Emmy nomination. One of my favorite things about editing History of the World is just the sheer variety of, of editing styles we had. So on one end, there was the Civil War and Russian Revolution, which I think were more traditional uh, narrative styles in the vein of Mel Brooks, old school Mel Brooks. And then we had more tightly edited sketches, a bit more modern parodies like Sigmund Freud, which is a parody of Masterclass, Alexander Graham Bell, and Noah's Ark with Seth Rogen. I think we chose episode three because of just how fun it is. Um, there's a wide variety of content in here. It's really hilarious and it also ends with a big musical number, a big bang. And also Taika Waititi, come on. I first found out about the nomination through a text thread that all the editors have. Uh, Angel texted us first. My, my first reaction was a little bit of disbelief. I think I'm still a little bit in that mindset. Um, I texted my parents right away. Uh, they didn't get back to me for a while. But within that, um, within that time, I was doing research on the internet. And I didn't find anything on it because I think it was still pretty early in the, in the reveal. Um, so it started settling in that maybe it wasn't true. And I was like, oh, okay, like came back down to earth a little bit. Uh, but then uh, Steph, one of our other editors, one of our co-nominees, uh, pointed me towards the Emmy website, of course, and I saw my name there with three other editors. And yeah, it's a pretty special moment. I think the most valuable tool that I use in Avid is definitely the scripting feature. Um, given that this was a comedy, there was tons of improv. Having the ability to sort through you know, hours and hours of content. Uh, having, a, having, all this, having all these lines at the tip of my finger was invaluable. Media Composer is the industry standard. This project in particular would have been very difficult to do if we, if we weren't in Avid. We were all working on the same server. We were work, working remote, but we were jumping in. And just because every episode was edited by four editors, being able to go in and take Georgia's sketches, Georgia's sketches, Steph's sketches, or Angel's sketches, put them in uh, into a single timeline. That would have been very difficult to do if we were emailing each other bins or, or whatnot. It made, it, it made this whole thing very feasible. Media management would have been a nightmare without Avid on this project in particular. Editing is a great career just because of how satisfying it is. It's very creatively satisfying. I think editors are naturally creative people and being able to see your work on the big screen or on the television and watch people react to it is kind of mind-blowing. I think the other special thing about being an editor is working with like-minded people. Other editors, we're all a bit of a rare breed and we like to collaborate, work together, and learn from each other.